Yeah, uh, that is a funnel. That is, uh, you know, this one you don't you don't have to worry about. It's basically getting people to, you know, to register a webinar. But like, you do need to have a webinar presentation ready, so you can promote it. You can promote this. This one, I think you can just leave it. Uh, I think you, get, you open a lot of browser. If you can, can you close down some of them? Because uh, that's going to crash your browser if you open that many. Yeah, not really. Uh, what about that one? Uh, okay, just open this one. So if you type the, uh, I, I mean, I think the last time you showed me and have you installed a perfect webinar visor? The, the software for presentation, have you on your, if you search perfect webinar visor, just search. No, not searching browser, search the, in your, uh, yeah, if you go to your, there and search. There is a. No, I don't think you install it. You have, if you haven't installed it because it doesn't show on your. Yeah, I think I did. I, so, I think I was on a different. If you if you uh, if you just go to the uh, found the script, the um, yeah, go to the found the script. Go to the if you go to the browser web browser, and go to found the script, then download it. Just download again. I think I was on a different different uh, PC. Okay. I give you the I will give you the email and the password here. This is a email and the password. I just you know send a message to you on Zoom. So you just copy the email, copy the password, and put it into the phone script. Well, it cost me, uh, it, 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 is, it is a software, but I paid for it. I mean, it costs about 700 US, I remember 697 dollars per year, USD. Jeez. And uh, yeah, but, I, but I, it, it can use by, you know, multiple users. So I can use it, you can use it, you know, just so you don't have to buy it. Uh, you can save the password, just say in the future, you don't have to uh, scroll down and then scroll down. And uh, yeah, scroll down, scroll down. I mean, uh, my old one should be here, shouldn't it? Project should be here already. Yeah, project is here. I mean, uh, there is a visor. You have to download the visors. Uh, scroll up. I think too much. Scroll up, 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 up. Yeah. Uh, and if you just scroll up to the top of the software, to the top, you can see. Okay, so on the left hand side, top left hand side, there is something called, uh, no, scroll down a bit. No, scroll down, yeah. No, scroll up. Yeah, that should be here. No, no, that's not the one. Uh, that's, that's, that, is, uh, that is not the one. That is, um, uh, you need to download the software first. Oh yeah, this is a perfect webinar visor. Uh, not the one. Yeah, it, this one is a, uh, it is a script, but inside you have to download a different one. Yeah, that's the one. And uh, then you go to the one called a perfect webinar. Yeah, that's the one. And scroll down and uh, then download it, yes. And I think you are using Windows, so download the Microsoft version. Yes, yeah, every small, you know, just install I it. Not, I might not be able to install this. Uh, let's try. Yeah. It wants a password. Remember, we had this problem last time. Do you have a password for this? No. No, you don't have a password for this. No. Okay. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, but this is your computer, yeah? Or well, your office computer? Office. Okay, so how about this one? Let's say I install already. Uh, by the way, I think that it, it is really tricky. I mean, uh, okay, I use a software on my computer. I do it. I mean, uh, basically, uh, 
Can't I just use it from the here within here? Uh, the one you open it, that one is a different. I think. It's, no, I don't think so. You open this one, perfect. It's on the Mac, on the Mac, you don't down. Yeah, scroll up, up. Perfect webinar visit online. Fill the phone. If you scroll down to the button, let's say yeah. New opportunity. Pay off and. Uh, oh my gosh. Build. No, we think we think I think we got way more question on the software one. Oh, this one doesn't look like they got enough question. Oh my god, how many questions are there? No, that should be right. Uh, I don't I don't think this is a, this is the correct one because we got way more question than. Uh, webinar quick story use this one scroll down let's say let's say uh because i know the script pretty much every well scroll down if you say let's say if you got a word the question proof you pay off enemy how to yeah mm. shit i wouldn't want any more Okay, let use that one. Looks like uh, they do have everything. Yeah, but I use a softer one. I mean, the Mac online version one just looks a bit different. But if this one looks like they have all of this. So, a uh, score up. So, start from for question number one. Let's say if you done it. So, your, your name, that's your name already there, and your title of the webinar. By the way, title of the webinar, you don't have to worry about it. Once you finish your presentation, then you're going to go back for the title of the webinar because then, uh, now you may say that's the title of the webinar, but I, I've done many, many times. I, I know you finish the webinar, then you want to change the title. So just leave the title like that. And then you're going to finish the presentation, go back to write a title. That's, that will be your title. Uh, you're going to ta target the home center in Adelaide. Okay, home center and uh, new opportunity, how to sell your home without spending a lot of money. Mm. Okay, so just leave it. You may want it to update it. Um, vehicle, uh, vehicle to be, you know, bread home center system. Uh, yeah, what is the vehicle? Then make this one. Yeah, more technology. Okay, leave that background. Your background story, qualify yourself. Uh, yeah, you do have a really good background. You have uh, done. You have got a year of experience. So it, this one, okay. Then scroll down to the. Uh, Okay, then go to question next one and epiphany bridge. So this is a this is a tricks one. Then you have to click the epiphany bridge script. So click the one open it, yeah. So when you open it, you need to use this script and to uh, get your story number one work. So okay, I wanted to I want to show you the, the structure of this looks like as well before you finish. I mean, let me just go back to my uh, I'm going to share you my screen. Uh, so you can see there is a structure for this. And I'm just going to share you my screen and uh, So can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to, okay, explain the structure. The structure, this is uh, the structure of this. This is a, uh, this why the, the sense of works. It is a formula. It is a proven to work. It's, you know, we follow, um, we follow a structure. Basically this is, well, so you, that's why you're going to have a sales come. So this one, who to, uh, you know, board a promise. Basically it is a webinar title. So get it, so people know you know what is the webinar is about. Hook to the end, basically, it is some of the uh, bonuses, some of the stuff. You know you can get it then. You know so they will stay to the end. And mm -hmm. um, by the way, you don't have to worry about. It. I just wanted to spend a bit of time in the structure, mm -hmm. command attention. Basically, I just ask them turn off the mobile and you know log out from the social media and uh, 
because most of people watching the webinar, just let you know, and on the mobile devices or on the laptop, they have just so much distraction. So you do you have to remind them, you know. Hello? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So qualify yourself. You That's why I talk about your background and your uh, qualification, your experience. And a future patient, basically, uh, this is a more about a psychological, uh, you know, strategy. So getting to imagine the outcome of come to your webinar, so they will be staying in the webinar. And uh, so the, the, the intro part is the easiest part, really easy. Take about like 10 minutes for you to do it. The most important part to, come, to be able to successfully convert the, uh, the needs into listing, it is this part. This one, it is called the content. So, uh, you, you may run webinar in the past, but the content, the structure of the content is different. Secret number one is, uh, okay, it is a vehicle. That's what I mean. So it is a, your way, like a bread combo, like a, your, your strategy to help them sell the property. So if someone think about selling a property, you have to, that's why you must have a offer. So it is your offer to help them. So you, so secret number one, basically you share with them the story about how you come out that offer and get them to believe if they want to sell the property and then your offer is the best offer they can get in Adelaide or in your local area. Secret number two is the internal belief. So they may believe, okay, your offer is the best offer. And uh, in the perfect world, they're just gonna hire you as an agent in the perfect world. But unfortunately, not. Because unfortunately, they do have some other objections. And it's not because you just show them, okay, this is my offer, they're going to just you know hire you. Unfortunately, most of the time, 99% of the time, it doesn't happen that way. Um, so you do need to handle objections. Secret number two and three, you share content to help them. Uh, so first one is called internal belief. So inside the mind, they may think about, okay, I want to sell, I know bread, you have the best offer, but, but I'm too busy you know, to sell my property. And also I don't know where I'm going to buy it. So they do have this kind of, the, you know, they do have this kind of the limiting belief in the mind. They don't know what to do after the sale property. And also they don't know that maybe too busy, you know, to sell property. So you just have to break down the limiting belief. Number three is external belief. This, this will, they say, okay, now they, they know you have the best offer and they know, you know, they, they can, you know, they know the objection one has been solved. Then they do have some other external objection means that uh, how is the market look like? Is the market good or is it the right time to sell? Or, uh, you know, can I get the best deal? Or can I sell, if I can, can I get a higher price? If I sell next year, you know, blah, blah. You just have to, you know, handle all the objection with a one, two, three. Uh, once you finish all the objection, then the stack, the stack basically just goes through the offer. So you go through the package, each of your, product or service in your package. Then you tell them the total value of the package. You say, okay, uh, you know, I will help you, you know, put your on the real estate that you, I hope you do domain. I hope you do this. And also like most of the agents are doing, but also I also offer some other services. So people can say your offer is way, has a way more value than other agents offer. Then, okay, finish. And if they do have any other objection, they say, okay, they may have some other objection, like, you know, I'm, uh, I just, you know, I just lose my job and I don't, I don't know if I can buy a new property. And so you just have to handle the objection. So close, close. So, so, re so then in the end, basically just handle all the objection. And the formula has been proven to work by many, including by real estate agent as well. It is a sales formula. It is a sales process. That's basically what it is. The reason why you use webinar is because there is a leverage. You can use this to do one on one. By the way, I have used this and to sell someone a funnel to sell real estate in funnel, and uh, I charge it two nine nine seven for a funnel. And the person has know nothing about a funnel, but I use it to break down the belief to convince. I I've done one on one selling. Use this one. Uh, it works. And also I've done one too many sending. The reason why I use webinar is because uh, 
if you you can you can be the best sales person like Matt or like George Tessman, but uh, let's say your conversion rate is ninety percent. Let's say if you talk to ten people, you get nine people, and but uh, every people is going to you know you need you need about like two hours, so you're gonna have a twenty hours. But if you have the if you have the ten people on one webinar, let's say your sales conversion is worse, not as good as Matt staying well, or not as good as. Uh, uh, you know, George Tessany, not as good as uh, this top agent. Your sales conversion, let's say, is a ten percent. So you, you, but you, but you sell to ten people. You get one person say yes from ten people. You know, you still, you still win because you sell to ten people in two hours. And the best agent, they need to spend ten hours. Yeah, okay. they need to spend ten hours and they get it. You know, talk to ten people. So. This one you have to use webinar because web webinar just give you the leverage and you do you are doing one too many selling instead of one on one and one too many uh, even if you are not the best sales person you don't have to be the best but you still win because you sell to ten people and twenty people at a time you can get one or two people say yes instead of like you sell one at a time I mean compared to a time it's way more efficient and way more leverage that's why I use webinar. Uh, so basically that is a structure. And so uh, let's go back to the, uh, this is a structure uh, number one. I mean, let's finish the, what happened to my screen. Uh, I, uh, so basically I will also explain to you uh, about, about this. So, Okay, so I wanted to explain to you, especially the content part, the one thing. This is a, the one thing concept actually is a sales strategy come from, come from the, let's see. So come from the hyperbole. Uh, <clears throat> I've heard about this guy, Gary Keener Vanian. Have you heard about him? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Keener Vanian actually, he, he built the one of the largest real estate franchisee probably in the world. And I, I did check him. So, uh, you know, he's definitely really, really good at real estate. And he has one of the really good book for the one thing. You can, you can read about it one thing. So one thing, basically it is a time management book and it is a time management because Gary is, you know, he, he, he manages so many offices, so he must be really busy. And this is probably one of the best time management book I've ever read, but it's kind of applied to your sales presentation. <laughs> you know, it, there are so many, uh, there are so many reasons why people don't, you know, people don't sell property. I'm sure the reason why could be, you know, it is not right timing. The market is not good, and uh, maybe then sell so many price. If you're trying to handle each objection, it's going to it's going to take so much time and so much effort to handle all objection. Mm -hmm. So, um, so pretty much, Gary. I mean, uh, by the way, Gary does sales training as well. So, in one of the sales strategy and Gary Kinervania, what he found out is that. Uh, you know, instead, he found out some of them like, uh, I do, do you know, like a domino, domino game, like a domino? Yeah. Not, not domino pizza, but a domino game. Like, uh, uh, you, like, like something like this, you know, you know, domino, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you played before, but I, I, I don't, uh, I, I think I saw someone play domino like, like this. So once you, pr you just put it one, uh, you know, you push one square and then rest of the, you know, square will be falling down. And so Gary Kinervania, I mean, uh, by the way, I think he's brilliant. I mean, he just uh, discovered one thing, which is if you're trying to handle all the objection to get people to sell properly, that's going to be so many. And uh, uh, sure, you can handle everything. You can, you know, if you got any objection, you know, just uh, handle all the objection. But the most efficient way is to find the one thing they want the most, the, the one of the biggest objections you can handle. So I give you an example about it. So just in your case, if you if the people think about selling property, 
you can get them to believe and the bread, you have the best wafer. I mean, best wafer, the best, the most valuable wafer or best deal. That is the cheapest commission, by the way. That's not the right way to do it. If you have the best wafer, if they believe you do have the best wafer, and uh, then if they if are thinking about selling property in Adelaide, in your local area, and then you have the best wafer compared to any other agent, and if you can get them to believe, just believe the ones and believe that, what does that mean is that, that means that the rest of the objection will be easy. Why? Because they believe you have the best offer. If they're thinking about selling and you can get them to believe you have the best offer uh, for them, for the home center in your local area. Basically, and uh, you know, you are going to eliminate so many other objections. Yeah, so that's a, that, that, is a, that is the key sense for the content. And uh, this final one of the uh, structures or how you can get them to believe. Uh, so if you, uh, if you, if you just have a look at the you know PBT I share with you. So basically, this is the structure, and uh, you know based on science. I mean, if you want to research about more, I did research. Uh, it is a science based, scientifically based. Get them to break down the belief. So this is the the reason why you know people believe. They need a way. It's not a right timing. It's because uh, in the head they do have a story. Like uh, they may read a newspaper or they may watch TV. Then they say, "Okay, Mark is not good." So inside the head, they got some of their story. So your goal is to help them change the story, because this guy, this this is your vendor. You know, he got some story inside his head. So your goal is to use a uh, your story to change the story. So his story, because this story may happen because after he read some newspaper, he watched some deal, it's all oh, market's not good and it's not right time to sell. And uh, so your goal is to use a new story, replace the old story. So he's going to believe now is the right time to sell. I mean, the sense, the, 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 the sense is just let him know. I mean, I give you, I tell you how powerful this is, by the way. Um, you know Anthony Robbins, yeah. I mean, I mentioned a few times. Have you been to any has like any? Have you read his any has his book or watched his video in the past? Have you? Yeah. Uh, like, what kind of the book or video you have read about him? The the one that's on um. Oh, it's on Netflix, I think. Oh, the that one. I'm not your guru, yeah. That's a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, documentary. Lots of yeah, swearing, so yeah. That, that one is that one's great. I mean, the he has a, he has a. You know, he has a classic one called Unleash the Power. Unleash the Power is like a four day seminar. I mean, I just been to there in September this year. I mean, he, he runs this every year, I mean, in Australia, by the way. Mm -hmm. Most of the time in Sydney Olympic Park, that's the uh, most of the time he run. The reason why is that in the Unleash the Power, mm -hmm. basically is he's used this one to get people work on fire in the day one. He's getting people to work on fire. You know, why is because that, uh, a lot of people has all the beliefs that work on fire is impossible. He's going to use the same things like I showed you and to, to change the people's stories that work on fire is possible. And then he, he do a lot of the story, he, you know, use a lot. So he get it like 8,000 people to just work on fire. Yeah. It is real fire. It's pretty, it's damn hot. Yeah. Hot and it's cold as well. It's heavy, like a bloody fire. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, if you can get people to work on fire, you definitely can get people to sell properly if you do it properly. Because the science and the psychology, it works. Not only he get people from English speaking country work on fire, the people who attend his seminar come from pretty much 40 or 60 country. Some of them from Asian, some from China, some from Korea, some from you know Vietnamese, Malaysia, you know India, and uh, so. I, the reason I want to tell you is that because uh, it doesn't matter what kind of culture or background was one, the, the, the psychology of human brain is the same. Everyone has the same brain. It doesn't matter where you are come from. So that is why this stuff works because it works for it. It works for anyone because everyone has the same brain structure, you know? So that is why stuff works. So then let's go back to uh, the script and I, think I, I can let you share the screen now. So I can stop sharing and then let's go back to, uh, so let's go back to the script and let's just, uh, yeah, let's just get your presentation done. 
So if you can share your screen and so we can start working on your presentation now. Okay, so I uh, so start from this one. And so who is your target audience? So who, who is your target audience so far? I'm sure you know. And uh, your backstory identity. So here I wanted to, you know, that's why I have to spend a time go so with you. And so backstory means, uh, okay, so I wanted to, uh, explain to you. So you have to take the ghost or story. What I mean is a uh, ghost or story, like how did you come out with a warfare? Uh, so before that, probably like, uh, you know, you tell me wh what is a warfare going to be so far? Like, uh, uh, what is the, what are the, you know, what are the product, what are the service you package in your warfare? Uh, I don't know. So what, what, so this is building something to for that home sellers webinar, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, they uh, your backstory identity means that uh, uh, what does it mean is that uh, uh, you okay? So I mean, I'm I, I'm simplify this for you. Uh, I use um, mm, let's say I, I use a case study so you understand what I mean. Okay, let's say. Uh, Okay, I'm just I'm just use a male example because I just help her, you know, get her presentation done. So her offer is, uh, uh, you know, she told me her offer is uh, okay. She has a, you know, she has a service offer like a real estate agency service, like most of the traditional agent offer. Like help you, uh, you know, put on real estate.com.au, domain.com.au, help you to open how help you, you know, uh, basically most of agent are offer that, but also on the top. And her target audience is uh, people who uh, wanted to, you know, move to a new chapter of life. What I mean is that is the people who, uh, they, you know, they may go through the process of getting divorced, or they may go through the process of like a retirement. Like they wanted to sell the property, find out retirement vintage, or they go through the process, uh, maybe just lose a job. They wanted to downsize it, or they go through the process. So basically, and the people in the crossroad, their life in a you know, they have to make a decision to sell the property. So that is her target audience. Then she come out a story. A story means that, you know, she has helped a, a retirement couple, a, a couple who just get retired and move to a new job of the knife. Then she come out with a warfare. So that is her story. So uh, the story basically is, uh, you know, one of uh, her vendor is, um, uh, is a couple, old couple, the one who retired. So what does she do is um, she talked to them, she found out, you know, what, what is the, you know, you know, what, what is, what's a goal? Basically after, you know, where do they want to live? So that's what she did. She also helped them find out uh, why do they wanted to sell the property? Of course, the reason why they don't sell is because they wanted to retire. And so the goal is to downsize and find out some more property. Then she also helped them find, ask them and uh, what kind of the a challenge, what kind of the, you know, support they need it. So during the process, she helped, she found out, you know, sure, you know, they wanted to sell the property, but also, you know, they wanted to, uh, they wanted some other help as well. They say the only couple, you know, they don't want it to, they don't know how to find, uh, you know, another property to buy. So she uh, needed to talk to a buyer's agent or talk to other agent and to help them find a new property. And also then, uh, older couple, you know, they 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 don't know nothing about a convincer like legal stuff. So she has a contact network of a convincer can offer really good a deal for the older couple yeah. to yeah to uh you know to <sighs> with the with the property and also the older couple you know for them uh they also you know after retired because uh, they are not uh, working anymore so their income is just purely based on superannuation. So she also help them find a financial planner to help them plan their retirement. Say, okay, you, you know, you are gonna retire. And so 
you know, this war with the people they need, everything they need it for them to, they, are, they go into retirement. So she, then she come up with a warfare. The warfare is, uh, okay, I'm the one-stop shop agent for you if you are looking to retire. So she positioned herself from a traditional agent to become an agent who help the people retire. Doesn't mean. Okay. So, but she's, okay, so. But she's really yeah. segregating a market. Yeah, so basically, yeah, basically segregating market and also position yourself. Because if you don't position yourself, well, if you position yourself as a traditional agent, it is too hard. I mean, basically it's impossible for you to win the list team because uh, the only way for you to win the list team is to do the commission card. What I mean is a uh, vendor is the interview, you interview another few agents and to the every agent offer pretty much the same offer. Every agency I'm going to help you put on real estate account like you, I'm going to help you to open account. Every agent offer same service then in the vendor's mind, so okay, everyone offer pretty much, pretty much the same thing. But in everybody's mind, they can just, I'm just picking the cheapest one who charge the less commission, I mean, the higher person. So that is the worst thing you can possibly do. That is why you have to get a warfare. If you don't have warfare, the only way for you to get a competitive advantage is to, you know, is to charge less commission. I don't think you wanted to charge less commission, yeah? No. No, so you just have to get a warfare then. So the story is to tell them how did you come out of that warfare? That is basically the story useful. Okay. So the story is that if you, uh, let me ask a question, like, have I you mean, got uh, a case study or have you got a, like let's say your target audience is home and seller in other day, that's a be a broad. Let me ask a question, like who do you want to help the most? Who? Well, if I segregated one particular client, dem you know, demographic like that, I'd, I'd go broke. Okay, so demographic is be a, you know. But, you know, like, like, you know, whatever, you know, if I said, okay, I want to, help home sellers that are time poor getting their house ready for sale. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, I might get five for the year. You know, or if I said I want to help home sellers downsize and, you know, move, you know, to the beach or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I might get two. It's very, it's like our population here is, yeah, it, yeah, I, yeah, just, I'd have to pick something a bit more broader than that. So I'd have yeah, to okay, say, sure. You don't so have to so, pick a. So a case study is, uh, you know, um, I guess project managing a house ready for sale for clients that are self-employed or live overseas. Um, yeah, that is a demographic. And, yeah, well, yeah, but I, I have to be a little bit broader. Otherwise, I'm just going to go, just gonna, you know, like, if, if you asked me to, to do that for every client that I sold this year, I'd have yeah. probably 30 different scenarios. So one would be a divorce, one would be um, expanded family, one would be clients living overseas, one would be um, selling to move to Melbourne, one would be, you know, like I'm, I'd be, yeah, yeah, I just don't think that, There'd be enough people to yeah, do it. Yeah, okay, no, sure. The, the one you, know you talk I mean? about is a demographic and a geographic. But I don't think a, I don't think a demographic and a geographic are that important when you're trying to, you know, trying to do the targeting. The most important targeting is something called a psychographic. Well, I really, you may not heard about it, but a demographic and a, a geographic, they, they give you a bit of, you know, they give you a bit of idea, but they're not as important as a psychographic. What I mean psychographic is that, let me, let me ask a question. So psychography is uh, what kind of problem, you know, you can solve for the people, what kind of problem they have? So I'm talking about Mel, I mean, because, uh, you know, she's on the same program. The yeah, but if I did the exact same thing that Mel's doing in Adelaide, yeah, there wouldn't be too many. Uh, you, you don't have to just only help the people who want to retire. You know, she, she helped the people who want to move to a new job out of the night. So she helped the people who... You know who are who their life and the cluster. What I mean is that they either lose their job, they either retire, get divorced, or downsizing, upsizing, or kids grow up, move out. Or so they can be different type of people, but they are in a scenario which is uh, uh, 
you know, which is that people, you know, people, you know, they are, they basically, they are, they are, move, they are moved to the next stage of their life. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. So, so like I ask you, so, so the first one you have to ask yourself because this one is really, you don't have to target same people like what she has got. And so before that, I want to ask you like, why do you become a real estate agent? If you can share a lot. So I can help you work out like what who is, will be the best target audience you can target. Why do you become a real estate agent, by the way? Um, oh, we were doing development consulting and finance. Yeah. For developments. Yeah. And a lot of our clients are Chinese and, you know, we put them in touch with the agents, they'd sign them up. And then the next time they'd hear back from them was another three months later to re-sign the agreement because it had expired. So we took over, you know, we sort of said, okay, we'll get our license and sell your development. So that's kind of how we fell into it. But then we kind of became into a general real estate agency then. So, um, I mean, I'm into, I mean, everybody, every agent says that they're into real estate because they like talking to people. Most people are assholes. So I, I kind of get into real estate because I like houses. I like property, not the people. Okay, you know, you like, you like house and like property. Yeah. So I mean, the, the exercise I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to ask you about a five to seven why because uh, it's going to help you find your real reason why is one of the coaching technique. Yeah. And I've I've learned so once you find the real reason why, then you go back to find out who your target audience is. Just so clear, it's I'm going to take about five minutes of your time. Mm -hmm. So let's say why do you why do you like property, by the way? Or why do you like, yeah, why do you like property? I think I, um, you know, design um, the way people um, turn it into a home. Um, the kind of, um, you know, I respect people that have a nice big flash house, you know, so that they've worked hard, obviously, to to, um, you know, they will obviously work hard to, to get that home and, and whatever. So it represents hard work and blood, sweat, mm. and tears, probably. Um, but okay. I like architecture in general. And how you like architecture. So, okay, you respect people who have, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, who have. Uh, good at putting something together. And, and, you know, I'm like, I know what I like, but mm. putting it together, it's yeah. difficult having that flair to put for, you know, putting a house together. and interior design all that sort of stuff okay interior designer that sort of stuff so why do you like you know interior designer why do you like architecture why do you respect people who have the you know like have a natural house i don't know from experience because i've done it i guess so you know i bought okay. one when i was 21 Okay. Yeah, so. What what what's kind of what kind of feeling do you get? Like, uh, how do you feel yeah. about like when you, oh, you know, when you respect admiration, admiration. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So pretty clear to me. I'm sure if you agree or not, you like to deal with people who has a, you know, who has a, who has a house has a really good interior designer, good architecture. Yeah. Yep. They're aspirational people. Okay, aspirational people. So that's what be your target audience. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so that will be target. And of course, you talk about demographic, you well, this is nothing to do with demographic and geography. It's more to do with the psychography. So yeah. your target audience is aspirational people who want to sell the property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then you just have to come up with a story. Like, okay, you have to go, go into a bit deeper, like, uh, why do you like, like, why do you want to help the people, help aspirational people, you know, to sell the property? Why? Uh, I guess because they're, you know, they're looking to grow or go to the next step or it's like first time buyers, you know, they're getting into that property ladder, I guess. So, um, yeah, they're going the next, next step. Okay, next step. Okay. <laughs> So they, these the aspirational people, they will be included in, uh, yeah, so these, what are the people gonna be? Like, who are your, if you have the picture in your mind, who are they? Um, I don't know. 
middle-aged, self-employed, most of them, or professionals. Okay, but do you, have you dealt with the people before? Like yeah. aspirational, yeah. yeah. Like, can you picture like one or two, maybe a vendor you deal with, they are like a fit into the criteria you mentioned about it, who yeah. are they? Um, yeah, I don't, well, they're all different, aren't they? Um, yeah. but if you can, you can, if you can just picture one, like one of your best clients, you know, who are meeting all the criteria you're looking for, who are they? I don't know, male. Well, that is uh, more like a demographic. Doesn't have to be demographic. It can be male and female. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so how about we get started? I get to start with the exercise. You're gonna find out more and more once you go into the exercise. So, so I, I have like a, I think I have a bit of idea, but we are you are gonna get more and more clarity when you go into answer the question here because that's a question designed for. And so, your backstory identity, let's just say. Uh, Okay, I think the best way is still I need to come up with a with with be a story because you still need to have a story. So you like to help the people who are aspirational and uh, home center who want to sell the property. Um, do you have do you have any case study like you have you got any case study in the past you help that people sell the property? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, like who, who is a person if you get if you don't mind tell me the name. Um yeah. Um oh, they're a bit different though. They're developers. Um I don't know. Yeah. Um yeah, so Gary, I guess. Okay. So if you just if you just pick Gary as an easy game for another time. A uh, backstory identity you can you can mention about I was uh, what kind of real estate agent you wanted to label yourself at that time. So if you can just start with a question, then you will, you're gonna find out more and more. What do you mean? Uh, so your backstory identity is uh, of course you are real estate agent for sure. Yep. And but what kind of real estate agent you are at that time? If you just um, think about the, the person you talk about, Gary, his name is Gary, but at that time, who you, you know, who are you at that time to help Gary sell his property? What? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, what well, you mean? can just write down, you can just write down, you are a real estate agent. I'm a real estate agent. You can get it started. And then you can find out more and more, maybe go back and the two. I did it again, so I was a real estate agent. Uh, yeah, so if you, I really wanted to, so if you go a question uh, three. What? Yeah, so in your head, you may just think about the Gary scenario. So that will be the scenario we, uh, of the Gary. So what, what do you, what did you, what, what do you really wanted to do on a time? Hope you can so he, he wanted to realize the most profit to buy a bigger house. Okay, just write down. Yeah, and so backstory payoff. So I could, yeah, I really wanted to help him client realize the most profit and purchase larger home. So I could, uh, so I, so you, I could, you, not hey, so I could. You don't have to write down so I could because uh, it's already there. You just answer a question. Otherwise, you just have to remove again.
Yeah, what was the payoff for you at that time? Me? Yeah, for you. Well, I don't know. Uh... Well, so you, you really want to help the client realize the most profit to purchase a large home. And uh, is it going to be a home center or buyer? Both. So this guy, I mean, I'm talking about the person named Gary. He's going to be a seller or buyer? Well, he did both. Oh, so he, he sell and was he a buy purchase, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, if that will be your target client, that will be, you know, great. So, um, and so let's say, so I could, uh, okay, you help the client realize the most profit, purchase a large home and more of the property nether. So I could, so what is the payoff for you by helping him? I mean, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you can you can write down, you know, pay for the bill, no problem. Um, but uh, well, pay for the bill. When, I, I, it seems all a bit, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, he, Actually, if 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 the pay uh, pay your bill is a big payoff, you know, and it doesn't really matter. You can write down here, because um, I have to let you know. And these days, actually, people like to deal with people who are authentic as well. Uh, yeah, if that is a big big payoff, I just sometimes if you, because that's why this sense I cannot I only can guide you, but I, you just have to you know you know because it is your story because you are. Your, when you do a webinar presentation, you are going to track the people who, you know, who relate to your story. So I could, uh, if, if pay your bill is a number one payoff at that time, you know, you can write down here. Yeah, it seems a bit sort of, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, right, you can write down right, write down right now and then you go back to the story and read again and then you can change it because it's not going to be the end. It's not going to be a final version. This is going to be a draft version. So, and you are going to, you know, aid it, you know, later on. But now just, just write down as authentic as you can. You can always go back and it. So at the time I was trying to, uh, so what was it, what, what, what were you trying to do, you know, to do to help him, you know, realize the most profit by purchasing your property? Are you, are you trying to, where are you trying to help them, uh, you know, build the wells? Where are you trying to help him? Uh, I'm not sure because it's your, because you are dealing with him. So what, what were you trying to help him at that time? Oh, well, he was overseas. Oh, he was overseas. Yeah. So what was your struggle, by the way? When you trying to help him buy and buy a property and sell his property, what was it? What what was a struggle? Yeah, um, yeah, not. I don't know. Um, like he was overseeing, and. Uh, do you have it? Did you have any struggle when, he, when you try to help him sell, buy a sell and property? I don't think that's easy because uh, he was overseas. So I'm sure you have some challenges, struggle, yeah? Not really. Not really? No, I just said, here's the keys. Get, get rid of it. Buy me another house. Okay, but is there any challenge? No. Uh, when did you do that? When did you help him sell the property? When? Last year. Oh, last year. That's not too long ago. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I th these sort of words, I don't really kind of, I don't relate to this sort of shit. So, um, 
Yeah, yeah, well, it, 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 it does. And uh, so somehow, okay, let's, let's say. Mm. Uh, pro, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, just. Uh. Okay, let, let's say, let's say uh, Gary is, uh, so uh, I mean, just let you know, I mean, tell me more about a uh, Gary and I go, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, because I don't know Gary. So, uh, so he's, he's overseas. So your goal is trying to help him and sell his property and then buy a new property. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how did you know Gary, by the way? A mutual friend. Oh, mutual friend, just a referral. Just a referral. Okay. Yeah. And so once refer him, so he, he was thinking about a setting. Yeah. Yeah. And so you got him. And so, uh, What's the reason why he want to sell his property, by the way? Um, right school zone. Sorry? The right school zone. So he had, he had to shift to get into the right school zone. Uh, okay, get it right to a school zone. So mm -hmm. uh, so his property is uh, in the school zone, yeah? Was. Was. Oh, no, was, 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 was in the, the school zone. The new one, the new house. A new house. So, so he, want, he has to, you know, get rid of it. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that is a, uh, I mean, is Gary your, I mean, just, I just make sure, is Gary your basic plan or is Gary the people you wanted to, you know, you want, you're happy to work with? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd like to do a little bit more than that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, of course, okay, school zone. And so, how to sell his property and, okay, uh, for sure, that's kind of, that's one of the reason why. It was, it's every rare, but it's not as a, you know, okay, sure. Um, sell his property and uh, once he sold the property, he need to buy a new one. You help him buy a new one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you also help buy a new one, your property. Uh, okay, so he's, what is what is a goal? What is a goal? So is a goal trying to uh, just, you know, just buy a new property for, you know, for, for living or what, what is his goal? What is, what is his goal? Just a larger home in the right school zone. I mean, it's pretty, yeah. I mean, here some people just say they don't even live in the house that they buy to get into the right school zone. You know, they just, yeah, it's a bit, yeah. Okay, but what's the reason why I want to buy a property in the school zone? What do you mean to send his kids to the right school? Okay, sending his kids to the right school. Okay. Well, that is the reason. I mean, that is the reason why he wanted to he wanted to buy the property because he wanted to send his kids to the right school. So he was overseas. He just uh you know contact you, you help him sell his property, you help him you help him sell his property and also purchase a new property in the school zone. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh so another time, you know, I was trying to, what well, you can write down, you know, another time I was trying to help him, uh, you know, maybe you can say, you know, help him sell his uh, old property and purchase a new property. Yeah, okay, yep. So what, where? The struggle, not really a struggle. Yeah. Uh, that's what you are trying to do. You can just put down here, the, Okay, apart from helping, you know, sell his old property and purchase a new property, and what else have you helped him, by the way? I mean, during a process, what else? Well, we renovated the house. Uh, renovated the house. Mm -hmm. It's the older one, yeah? No, just 10 years, or 10 years old. Oh, okay, then you're one. Mm -hmm. Tired, it was just a bit tired. Oh, okay, just tired. Okay, so sure, sure, that's a that, that you know that is something you know you you can mention about it in the story and later on. So I'm just trying to answer the scenario. So you hope they can you know sell. So what is the reason why you know he want to renovate the house? Is it because it's too old or? No, uh, no, that was my advice. So to make it you know more desirable, I guess. Okay, for the for the older one, yeah. Well, it's not that old, but just you know being lived in. 
for 10 years. So, okay, who was it? Have you some of these old, old houses, new houses are not built like old ones, they don't last. You know, they're okay, painted, sure. They're painted with one coat of paint. And okay. Of and, yeah. So. Okay, renovate the house though, and then put it on the market and sell, yeah? Okay, great. I think the story will work because it's based on, you know, information I got. It. So uh, the backstory struggle, I think I used to, I was trying to help the people make sure the property looks more desirable. I think that is a, that is the backstory struggle. If you, that, that will be the one, you know, I was trying to help, you know, I was trying to help the clan and uh, make sure the property look more desirable. You may have to remove the try to because they already try, they already have a try to there. So, just answer a question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you scroll down and the backstory immediate problem, I feel I need to do this. I wouldn't have to. Uh, yeah, if, if the home is not a desirable, then have to protect. Property. So uh, uh, a pro, pro, project manager renovating the property for a clan who is based over the I feel I need to do this, so I wouldn't have to. But it doesn't really flow that well. But basically is that if you don't, if you don't, if, if you don't help him make his property look desirable, just say, what is the problem for that? Oh, okay. So I felt I needed to do this, so I wouldn't have to, what? Drop out of school. Yeah, so basically I, I, I wanted to explain this bit of confusion. So basically it is a, at the time I was trying to help the client soft renovate his home to realize the full potential and higher selling price. So that is, that, is, that is what you are trying to do. You are trying to help him make sure his home looks more desirable. But if you don't make his home look more desirable, what will be the immediate problem and the penalty? Let's say if his home was not desirable, it would it be hard for you to sell or to just sell for less. Yeah, you can write down here. So I wouldn't have to. Oh, so I wouldn't have to what? Maybe I wouldn't have That's to. Go Who am I talking about? Me or him? Uh, you. I wouldn't. I. I feel I need to do this, so I wouldn't have to. I feel struggling of selling his property. Or feeling struggling of his sell his property to his to the his uh, to maybe to ex, to the expected price or something yeah because if if the harm is not desirable maybe you are going to be struggle to sell the price he want. <sighs> Very frustrating. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so that is a one, yeah. yeah. And immediate desire, I really wanted to be able to, I think you really wanted to be able to, point it, I think uh, to help him sell his property or for the full potential, for the full price, is what you want. Yeah, okay. So what is something external block you from your desire? I was struggling with, 
So I'm sure you are trying to help him, say, uh, you know, make sure his property is desirable and so he can sell the property for the market, full market value. But I, what is something, you know, maybe because if, you know, what is what are some of the challenge or obstacle, you know, you, you're going to facing on a time to do that is because uh, Do you have to be easy because he's overseas and you have to, you feel like maybe you know communication could be issue or uh, you know or maybe you have you know you don't have you don't know any other people can help him renovate it. Do you have a challenge? Uh, just like a re re renovation would be, I'm sure you, you are going to have a challenge with renovation as well because he's probably has been there for 10 years. So do you have a challenge, do you have, did, you have, did you have a challenge to find the people to help him renovate the property? Not really. Oh, uh, just contact the people and do a renovation, yeah? Yeah, so, um, so yeah, they weren't really. Okay, I was, I was struggling with the, uh, you know, could it be by the your goal, or your desire, or your goal is helping sell the property for the full market value. Did you have any challenge to helping sell that property for the full market value, Anatan? No. Uh, because his property is not desirable, so uh, that's one of the challenge to renovate it and. Uh, um, is there any other is there any other challenge you can think of like uh, no no to be honest no okay uh, maybe his case is uh, you know is a bit perfect so I was struggling with uh, well here I think like you maybe well you, you I mean there's something you don't have to you don't have to you know write you know you can just write down just make sure the story later on you may read about to see if they need idea so maybe say I was struggling with uh, uh, you know, maybe he said I was struggling with. Uh, okay, his end goal is to. Uh, let's say just write down. I was struggling with. Uh, what is something external blocking you from desire? I was struggling with. Uh, you could be saying. You know, you are struggling with. Uh, uh, Very difficult. You could say that about any listing. I would say no. Um. Yeah, strange. I, I just find all this a bit. Yeah, it's just a bit, bit of crap, really. But anyway, um, I guess. Um, uh, I mean, I didn't have to convince him to do it. Uh, yeah, value. I don't know. Getting the right value for money from people. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Just not really. Bullshit. Okay. So let, let me. Uh, okay, this one, this one definitely. The, there's a reason why, uh, you know, every, you know, they ask ask this question as well because I've done this, uh, you know, a few times, and I will know, uh, you know, some of the challenge. So, Gary is just one of the typical example about this. So, uh, you are going to, you are not just going to target the people like Gary. You are going to the goal of your story is going to target the people uh, who want your warfare. That's that is a goal, and uh, so you, I guess you'd have to normally you'd have to do it within budget and within the time constraints. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Sorry, um, so if you if you if you um, picture, uh, okay. Um, hmm. So Gary. Okay. So in a process. Is Gary like a typical example, a typical client you deal with? Like you help him sell the property and buy a property. Is a typical client you deal with? Yeah, basically. Okay, so most of the client who sell property, you also help them buy a new one, yeah? Uh, yeah, oh well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay, so that is a, uh, just write down this for on this stage and then we, we uh, you know, we, uh, we, you may want to, you know, optimize it or change your story a bit, but why did your situation make you terrible if you finish that one?
Ahnung, ja, warte mal. And what it make me feel terrible? Well, I never feel terrible. Well, it, it, of course, sometimes the words, you know, that's about it. yeah, the word, the words, you know, and, bullshit. Shit. Yeah, but is it, is it one? You may want to change the terrible words later on, but it, uh, you can say, okay, I feel terrible. Sometimes you don't like the word, but you you may. That's why this one is cause people have a emotion, uh, because because a challenge. So what a challenge make you feel? By the way. Confident. They <laughs> <laughs> like come with, come within a budget, within a short time frame to sell in the spring time season. That's what you struggle with. So I feel terrible because, uh, uh, you know, maybe you know, did you did you? Uh, I'm sure you know because you must sign the agent's agreement to sell the property. So because you may, do you feel pressure or do you feel you know a bit frustrated? I mean, just make it up. So if you feel, I feel terrible, you know, I feel terrible. I mean, that, that, that's, I, it's kind of, it's, yeah. It's, I know, but later on you may say, I feel terrible because I, you know, I maybe say I signed the agent's agreement. I have to sell in a time frame, something. Yeah, you can say, you know, maybe you say I have signed the agent's agreement, you know, you know, I have to sell in the time frame. I promise, you know, in an agency. Yeah, I just, I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm getting. Like, I just write down later on. You, you feel you, you will find a, you'll find a story. It will be much flow. Yeah, maybe. Didn't make me feel terrible at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, just make up. Just, later on, you can, you can. came together like it was. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, whatever. Just, just write down, you know, I feel terrible because, you know, I've signed an agent's agreement and uh, then I promise to sell in a time frame. Okay. What about a situation make you feel even worse? So basically, I you know I feel even worse because this is just basically getting people to you know go through like emotional people people can relate to it. I say okay, you do have this emotional you know challenge. So I feel even worse because uh, uh, you may say you know if you say I had ninety days to sell the house, ready to sell, mark the property and run our chain. You know because uh, you know I you know I wasn't supposed to. You know, help him do that, but I, you know, but you feel frustrated or what was the, you know, just basically you have to think about it, you know, what, what, what was the emotion or frustration or basically some negative feeling you got at that time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just making it up now. Yeah, just make it up. So, uh, um, also, um, what about this situation made you feel even worse? The client also had a short
Okay, so that would be uh, next one would be how the situation make you feel, uh, you know, based on your identity shift, but though, you know, maybe you feel like, uh, okay, what happened that caused you finally, you know, uh, the problem was that and uh, what was the problem that finally and uh, get you, uh, you know, hated the war, basically, you know, that never, that never happened. Well, I don't know. <sighs> well, just make it up, you know, then you, you, fa you, you can see how this is going to flow later on. You may, okay, you may realize, okay, actually does, does something that there happened. Surely somebody is going to look at this and think he doesn't know what he's doing. Sorry? Surely somebody's going to look at this and think he doesn't know what he's doing. No, no, no. You, 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 you know, you, once you finish, and then you, then you know why the, the structure designed this way. And you, when you, just, you just make it up and finish. Then you go back and, uh, and aid it again. And then you say, okay, well, how this whole. I know the first time, you know, I, I do this, you know, I feel really strong. I feel strange as well. But once I finish, uh, the first time is a bit weird. But like, you trust the process. The you know the the process does work. The problem was that what was the problem that allowed that you know cause you to finally hit the wall? If that is hand. let's say, did you have any problem like uh, to help him? No. Uh, the, you know, you can just make it up. The problem was that it could be, you know, the, there was added pressure to project managing, you know, various trade people and rely on others. The problem is it could be, you know, it could be every small problem or tiny problem. And uh, then you find some epiphany that allow you to create a warfare. The basic thing is to, I mean, the reason why you have to tell a story is how did you come out with a warfare? And the warfare is, is to track the people you want to work for. You want to work with. Okay, uh, so what did he do the war, you know, mean for you and Natan? So the client was not contactable for several days due to his business commitment. So what does that mean to you? Uh, um, then, you know, could be decision has been delayed or Number one, what now we get into really, yeah, okay. Consequence of hitting the wall meant what? So if the decision has been, decision had to be delayed, what was the long run consequence? Well, if the decision has to be delayed, I mean, you have a trade people who can, would be, I mean, the consequence could be, you know, would be, you know, you have to cost a lot of money or rescheduling. Yeah, could be this one. Yeah.
Okay, so what was a personal event for you? So, but luckily for me, that is when then you find something, a solution, then everything changed. So, I don't know. Luckily for me, that's when I and everything changed. I don't know. <sighs> Well, just make it up. So basically, you know, lucky for me, that's when I, you know, made a few. Okay, that is a good one. So, what did I personally, you know, revenge review to you from that event? I discovered what about maybe. Taking the responsibility, help the client make the decision. If the, if that is you know what you discover. Okay, sure. That's uh, one. So move to question next one. What is a hard moment for you? That is one I began quickly for me. The secret was what I mean is. Uh, so what is a hard moment for you to solve the problem? Now you realized. Did you realize like you? You know, I think I found the story. You told me you are trying to contact the client, but the client was not contactable for a few days. And you, it's all about, you know, they need to make a decision. Actually, if I know they don't care about detail, it's a hard moment if I know actually, you know, actually you can make the decision. You don't have to contact the client. You know, it's something you realized yeah, in a process. Okay, then what is the big how to then? What is the made me clear meaning how to? So now, now if you got the problem, if you if you now if you face the same problem again, like you mentioned about it, now it was clear for me how to now you know how to solve the problem, yeah. Let's say how to in your case could be you know how to yeah solve the problem or how to help the client to sell the house for their market full market value? Yeah, if they if the client is not like contactable. Oh. Yeah, it could be, you know, you, you now you know how to help the client sell the property for the full market value, like help them do renovation, help them uh, project or manage the whole thing, but without, not, not without, what I mean is uh, if, they, if they are not contactable, if they are overseas, or well, if, uh, if, if they are too busy, but you can, you still can help them manage it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so now it was made clear to me how to help them, I guess, help them so sell the property for the full market value. Uh, I guess, yeah, if they if they are not contactable, if the client, if, yeah, if the client are not contactable, yeah, could it be? Okay, discover how to be, what does that mean to you now? Uh, the big how to now, it means uh, discover this big how to mean, uh, you know, you are able to, you have the solution. I guess you have the, 
you know, you have the solution or you have the, you are maybe, it could be say, you know, you have the solution to help the people, uh, to help the client who want to sell the property uh, for the full market value. If they are, like I say, they are too busy or if they, you know, if they are too busy to care about the detail, something, yeah? Okay, time for a client. Okay, good. So I can say your storage has become more and more clear now. And uh, because you, you also your target audience become more and more clear now. So time poor clan would be the people you want to target. So I also learned that, you, you know, you don't have to go back and uh, write down, you just uh, finish the story first, finish the story. Then you time poor. Yeah, time poor would be the home center, would be the people you want to target, I can see. Just found a story. Okay, scroll down, scroll down. And then you finish. What is something you know, thought that is was true and uh, but it's wrong? Maybe you learn about it. You you thought about it. You know, you can't need to involve everything, but you find out you know can't you know don't have to involve everything. Because from what I know, you try to contact the guy Gary, but he was not contactable. But you made the decision for him, and then the property has been sold to other full market value. So. Clients don't have to be involved in, I think every, maybe every single step of sending the home, could be, or everything. Okay, and you then you should, so you should stop thinking and from previous question you need to do it. So basically you are talking to your client, by the way, then you, you feel you should, you should stop thinking about involved in the everything in the process. You need to know you have to finish the previous question first. The question, what should they do instead? Previous to then, that's a, that's a question. What? You no, you, you still got one more question on the top. You need to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, um... So I think that part you kind of say you can you should stop thinking about it, you know involving everything in the same process. Then you need to hire an agent like me to help you manage the process. Because the, the script you are talking to is given to your prospect vendor, not to you. What stop? You should stop thinking, maybe involve everything. Because some people, you know, they, they may worry about it. They may start about it. They need to involve everything in the sales process. But uh, you just tell them, you know, you should uh, think about. As a result, Pethany, you know, or what concentrated action did you take as a result? So after you had the experience you who, with Gary, I'm sure, and what did you do in the future or after Gary? Yeah, now I can see your warfare just come out now. So, you know, the process does work. So what was a positive result of taking the action? So after that, I start, you know, I start, uh, maybe you start helping the client project manage the, you know, renovation. Is that something you are, you are doing right now or what you're planning to do? It doesn't have to be something you, plan, you are doing right now, but you can say something you plan to do.
Okay, what was the ultimate payoff of taking the action? Uh, finish first. What does that mean? Oh, it means that like you, you know, you offer the full service to help getting home okay. ready for sale. Uh, instead of you know just tips, you know you you were hands on. So basically, you are more involved. You you deliver deliver more value. Then, what what was the ultimate Let's payoff? See. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Jamie, J A M I E Cox, K O X, seven hundred and sixty at hotmail dot com. No idea. No idea. Okay. Yeah. So Stanley, I was, uh, you know, I was, um, you know. Okay, Stanley, I was, uh, uh, so you offer a full service to achieve getting home ready for sale instead of just chips, you are, you know, I, we were hands-on. Stanley, I was, uh, uh, you know, I guess you was a project manage. Project manage more home or Okay, the plan, my plan was to, so what was your plan? Are you planning to manage, you know, to, to, to you know, to add a project management as one of your service in your or warfare or is something you plan to do? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Okay, just write down. So Pran, what was the first action you take? You took, so I start. So when you offer project management as a part of your service to a vendor, okay. I'm sure you, you must be doing something different. You start a, Okay, so what was the next action did you take within? Okay, so what was the final action did you take? Okay, so Comfort, you know, after all, how words things will, what does it mean is that, uh, okay, let's say you, you already, you know, have this in your, but uh, when you're trying to deliver project management as your service, 
did you have any challenge like uh, trying to, I'm sure you, when you're trying to package this into your offer or into your, did you have a challenge? Maybe you, do you feel like you maybe, uh, you know, don't have enough team to do it in a challenge or maybe you don't know what's the price you should be charging or how many time it takes or do you have any conflict or challenge like trying to package this into your core services? Uh, no, yeah. Uh. Because it is a new service as well. I'm sure project management, that's um, that is a different from your core service, which is uh, uh, your real estate agency service. So maybe is a conflict you got is a, should I, you know, feel I'm a project manager or I'm a real estate agent or Okay, so have you finished? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you could go to the next question, next one. If you. So, what did you decide to do? Basically, I think you answered the question in the conflict, you just need to copy the answer and put it here. Like, systemize, we systemize the process with our trade people. No, 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 not copy, yeah, copy that one. Yeah, cut. And we choose to call, so that's, this is the name of your warfare. So basically what is the name of your warfare right now? Well, you may call like a maybe, you know, bread home center system or bread. Oh. Yeah, something you want to you call the name of your warfare. Or just call whatever. I put your name inside the. It will be great. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, so what is a big awards and dream result you want? So I thought, you know, could create something really possible to, your goal actually is to help the, you know, help the clan who are too busy or time poor. I think help the, like a time poor home center, sell the home for the full market value. If you can just write down, we thought if we could create something, we. We could make it possible to help the time poor home center to sell the property for the full market value. You don't have to write down with thought because they're already there. Just answer the question and uh, to use a verb.
I think to Chinina, uh, yeah, with a uh, green, no, yeah. Okay, so move to next question. So after, how long does it take for you to get the solution? What I mean is, uh, let's say for you to, uh, first time you help Gary and with the project management, then take a bit of time, sure, take a bit of time for you to, you know, add this into your services, find the trade people, build a network, and uh, how long does it take you to do it? Three weeks? Yeah, sure, okay. Now that's three weeks, it's not just for Gary. I mean, I'm talking about the, how did you, how long does it take for you to come out with a warfare, like a, add the project management service as your core service and then systemize it and how long does it take? Oh, geez, I don't know. Let's just make it up. Let's say maybe you help Gary last year and they take a baby in like 12 months. If that, if that's, if Is that's how long. Why would it take that long? Well, I mean, I, I know, but it, it doesn't take it long, but you just, you know, you just uh, give them a rough idea. The reason why is that people need to say, okay, it took a lot of your time and effort to create the warfare. Then they will be in the perception. They're going to say the warfare is valuable. That's why. Uh, yeah. So you just make it up. Let's say, when did you help the Gary with the, you know, renovation? When did you do that? Last year, when? Which month? September. Uh, which months did you help Gary do it last year? Which months? September. September. Okay. So how? When? When did you? Okay. When did you add your project management into your services? When? Well, I, I don't know. We, 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 yeah, I don't know. Um, it kind of just happened. Okay, it kind of just happened. This is, this is to make it up. I mean, sometimes it don't have to be exactly you know, correct. So let's say it could be after like three months, you know, you help Gary in three months, you take a bit of time, and then you, you know, you just create your warfare. You can say after three months of helping, you know, you know, helping, uh, you know, three months of, uh, you know, putting everything together, you know, like uh, I'm sure you need to find the, I know it just come happen. Don't take much of your effort, but it, sometimes you just make up. I mean, to show people that time and effort you put into it. Uh, I think you got a couple of questions, then just finish. Then you read the whole story. Then you will know how this flow. Then you understand why they have a structure for this. Okay, next one, next question. What amazing dream and outcome did you achieve? So, sort of sounds too good to be true. I can now, you mean, you can now, do you have a project management team to help the people? Okay, we sold. Sort of, you know, it almost sounds too good to be true. I can now, uh, maybe you can say I have the, uh, you know, you, you have the, you have the solution to help the, like a time poor, you know, center project management, the property and help them sell as a full market value. Okay, scroll down if you go next one, achievement. So just write down everything you, you have achieved. So basically is everything, you know, you have done to create the warfare. Let's say uh, you just mentioned about it, you know, uh, 
Okay, you mentioned about the interview, treat people. That's something you've done. You mentioned about you know systemize the project management process. You know, you mentioned about you know. So just write down everything you've done to create a warfare, summarize. Yeah, like systemize a process. That's something you've done. And also you mentioned about, you know, build up, you know, build up professional, build a team of the professional trader people. And uh, yeah, just write down pretty much everything you've done to create the warfare. I don't know. I, I think you just write down, based on the question I ask you, just write down everything you've done, uh, uh, like to create a warfare. We have help more clients. And you just mentioned, because you already you already written down a lot of things you, you have done, like you say, you mentioned about it, to systemize a process of managing the project management and also to, uh, yeah, to, um, what else? It's something to interview the professional trader people, build your, you know, build a team of professional trader people. So write down everything you've done and then you summarize. Okay, transformation, what is the biggest payoff? Uh, so as a result, I was able to achieve my dream of being able to uh, help the time poor, you know, home center, you know, sell the home for the full market value. I think that's the ultimate goal you, you've been, you, you know, achieved. And what well, are you able to stop doing this? So I've been stopped, you know, I think like you had a big struggle in the past. You mentioned about it, you know, you've been stopped, you know, uh, I guess, you know, yeah. Transformation, I can stop doing that because now I we can. So now you got a warfare, you just have to mention about, you know, you what your warfare can do for them. Okay, then I think uh, your last question, you just finish, then you just uh, build the whole story. Then I tell you how this is gonna flow, how this is gonna help you. Yeah, and then, you know, what it means I'm now able to, uh, so basically what was a big emotional end result payoff? So how did you feel about it? You know, after you've done this, now you get one more question. You have to finish that one more question before you build. You know, in the end, what of this mean? I'm now able to, what it was a big emotional end result, you know, you got, after you've done everything, you know, do you feel like a, I'm able to, and in the end, the voice means I'm able to, you know, help for the clan. Uh,
Okay, so if that is a, if that is the end or result, now you can build. Okay, now I think now you can. Do you feel like tired? I mean, you know, I think you've been sitting on for one hour. Uh, you do you want to do some exercise? Maybe <laughs> take some deep breaths. Then I can spend a bit of time to go through with you. You know the script. No, that's like well, yeah, I haven't. It's okay, I, I can just go through with you now. You can see how this works. Yeah, I've got about an hour yeah. tops. Yeah, so if you so if you if you just go uh, scroll up, mm -hmm. okay. So start with one backstory. You know, I was a real estate agent trying to help the client renovate the house and realize. So that is the backstory. How did you get started? Your desire is to help them sell the house for full market value, so you can pay the bill. I mean, it, that means just you know. Uh, so you do desire then external struggle. I was uh, you know coming within budget and time frame and the sale in spring season. I wasn't able to, but you got some struggle. The struggle is because. Uh, uh, you know, the clan was not a contactable. So because of the, uh, the internal struggle is that you got 90 days to do it. And, uh, and also you, uh, you know, the clan had a short vendor to purchase your home in the right school zone. The wall is that the clan was not a contactable and then you hit a wall. The most important is epiphany. So I made a few, you know, decision for him under the budget and uh, then the clan didn't care about the project as a result. Then you find out, okay, actually, uh, is Chris clear how to sell the property for the full market value, and then clan, uh, so for the client who are too busy, uh, because you know the client don't have to involve the whole process, and then you learn you learn about it. So you then you come out with a warfare. So if you scroll down, uh, so now you you know you come out with that's when you realize you hope the client soft renovate it. Then the plan. That is how you come up with your warfer. Your plan is to start a warfer project managing as a part of your service window. Then you start adding the service to your home sending proposal to our prospect client. Then you then you create the then you can can you know can contact you know I don't know. Uh, then you uh, just build a team of the professional trade people. You also get some conflict, and uh, you didn't you know become a project manager. So. The, okay. There are there is a reason why for this. The achievement is you come with a woofer, like bread getting your home ready for sale solution. That's how you come with woofer. And then once you come with woofer, then you mention about you know how this woofer help you and help your client. And so uh, so once you come to woofer, then you got a result. So uh, by the way, you have to save if you, if you just click the project and save. Uh, I. I guess and now you don't know again, but you need, I think you need a copy first. Just a copy. Just go to the go to the bill. Go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. You copy that one. I think you need to paste somewhere and find a word document or somewhere and just put it here. Just make sure you don't lose it. Of course, you may need to you know make sure the grammar you know, a bit, but it, most of the part has been done. So just open a Word document and just paste it there. Yeah. Okay. Did you, did, have you finished? Yeah. Okay, just go to the project. I show you, sometimes it'd be a tricky. Yeah, go to the project. Uh, let's say save as. I mean, you have to reload it. Just reload it because it's gonna it's already saved. But you just have to refresh your browser. Refresh. Are you sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, so scroll down. Yeah, it is here. It is here. By the way, scroll down. Just scroll down. And go to the project. And save as. No, save as yeah, and then you just call like a bread, you know, a person bridge story. So we know because your everyone use the same software. So no, you need to call a person bridge story. You need to have a few more other story there. A person bridge story number one, if you can just call that. Uh, a person bridge story. Yeah. Okay, you saved already, and so you you can stop sharing. I I'm just going to.
uh, I'm just going to share my screen to take you go. So then, uh, you know, that, that the reason why, do you need to do some exercise? Looks like you'd be tired. Do you want to stand up? Maybe <laughs> a stretch? Get out of and done with. No. Yeah, it looks like you are really tired. I'm just, you know, I mean, uh, because for me, I exercise every single day. And for sure, my energy is very high. But I, do you want it to do, do you want it to just, I just want to know, do you want to get a coffee or? Not really, no. I've got an appointment, really? I've got an appointment at four, so. Okay, so I share a screen with you and to uh, basically show you what is the process I've gone through with you. So this is the process you've gone through with a script. So basically, your backstory is your character. So you, okay, you, uh, you are struggling. So basically, you build a bonding. The first part is uh, the reason why you need to tell your backstory is because you are going to build the bonding with them. Uh, we, we the people, okay? I'm just letting you know, the, the, I'm sure you, I'm, I'm sure you heard about it in sales. There is a, there is one of the, uh, every popular um, phrase, everyone talk about it, you know, people need to like you and trust you so they can buy from you. Have you heard about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how, okay, sure, you need to get people to trust you and uh, you have the professional, you got a skill, you know, you, you, you can help them sell property, they can trust you. But first one, before trust you, they didn't like you, just let you know. If they don't like you, sometimes for aging, especially for real estate aging, like you, you, you help the people sell property, the other aging can help them sell property. So if the vendor, they don't like you, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to hire you. So the first step is getting to like you. Does that make sense? So I, in the past, I was a struggle as well because uh, you know, how can I get people to like me? And I say, I learned, okay, I, I, learned the, I learned the process actually from Hollywood movie. So this one, the, the structure actually is not from Russell. Yeah, of course, Russell now teaching people how to in the webinar, but actually is come from Hollywood movie. I'm just quickly share with you. Where is originally come from? I'm just gonna open this one. Because I've done a lot of research, you know, I've done this uh, many, many times. I'm just, I'm just sharing with you why this works. So you, you have to believe this is truly works. It's not because something uh, make up. So, I actually need to come from this guy, Michael Hage. Okay, who is Michael Hage? I mean, Michael Hage actually is one of the top Hollywood top story expert. You know, another guy is Chris Vogel, but he's one and created these things. And he, he's now he's teaching people how to do the, uh, you know, how to do storytelling, how to do the, you know, how to do, how to do all these things. So this one, and, and uh, you know, have you heard about Will Smith? Yeah. You know, Will Smith, I, I don't know, do you know one of the reasons why Will Smith is so success in Hollywood is because Will Smith uh, used a lot of Michael Hage, is that the huge journey, like I showed you a structure in his movie. So if you think about his movie, I'm not sure, have you watched any movie? Like, have you watched the, the pursuit of happiness? Like, it was a struggle with his, uh, like, he was a single dad and like, uh, you know, yeah. do yeah. the job. You watch a movie, yeah? Yeah. I mean, when you watch a movie, can you relate to my Will Smith? Can you? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Why? I mean, I tell you, it, it is exactly the same structure. I'm just using the movie, you know. I watch a movie as well. Let's say Will Smith, his character, he was a single dad, do the job. And uh, it can relate to a lot of people. And it doesn't have to be related to a single dad, but it can relate to a single dad man, a lot because if someone is a single dad, just lose a job, it definitely can relate to them. But it can relate to a lot of people who are struggle. Yeah. So because they just show you how how can you how can you get people like you? You have to have these characteristics like a personality. One is a victim, jeopardy, likable, funny, and powerful. And another time, Will Smith. And he was a person is a, a victim. He was this kind of people. So we can relate to people who are victim because um, uh, but like, there's so much more like a nuance science and a psychology uh, inside the, you know, inside the 
inside their mind. There's some psychology, but I want to, I don't want to go into too much detail because that's, that's going to be so, but it, trust me, the psychology and the science has a backup of this. This is a come from psychology and backup. And so if you have one of the characteristics, like you have a victim, jubilee, likable, funny, powerful, you, you, you know, you can, you can, you can get people to like you. Even if like a, like the people, like funny, I'm talking about the people, do you know Robin Vinian, one of the comedian? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he's funny. So people like him, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the characters. How about the, um, Donald Trump? Donald Trump, there's no people like him? Half the population, yeah. Yeah, half population, because they're powerful. Powerful is one of the, like him, and how, how about the, the, um, uh, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you just, uh, uh, Basically, the chairman of China, the Xi Jinping, the president, you know, he's powerful. I got people like him. A lot of people don't like him as well, by the way. But if you if you, if you got this, if you got this one, you gotta get people like him. You, you do need to have the characteristics. That's the first step. Characteristics get people like you. This one doesn't have to use in webinar. You can use in day-to-day -day sales conversation. Let's say when you do a prospecting, when you publish on social media, how what kind of the characteristics you have to show to your social media followers? I mean, for me, like for me, I think I wanted to, for me, I'm, I'm a powerful, I'm probably I'm likable person, but I, you, you, you can choose one or two or three and put, when you put it on social media, you get it, you're getting a lot of the people who like and, and comment on your social media post. This is Hollywood, they figure out these things to build a report. This is the best way to build a report with anybody. That is why how more movie, not just a sell in the English speaking country, but actually a lot of people from South Korea, from Asian countries, they also watch how more movie as well, because uh, because the psychology works. It's not because they. It's not because the culture was just, just human. Okay, once you once you get people like you, then you need to have the desire. Second step is a desire. What I mean is that in order for you to get people to trust you, you do need to show, you do need to, okay, the best way I tell you, I mean, I already spent a long time trying to figure out how can I can get people to trust because in the market and sales for a long time, I was always trying to think about, okay, what is one thing? Once I read about a Gary Keener Valian, a book for one thing, and I was really, really uh, obsessed, trying to find, okay, what is one thing I can do just in the, in the book, you know, he has a question. The question is so good. And he said, you got so much things to do, like a bunch of a to-do list. And he said, you know what, you need to ask yourself the question inside his book. The book basically said, you know, what is one thing you can do once you've done it, then everything will be easy or long less. So another time I was, I was learning about sales and marketing, I say, you know, you have to learn about Facebook ads, you gotta need to learn SEO, you gotta learn how to build a funnel, you gotta learn how to, uh, you know, how to run webinar. But uh, for me, I was thinking about, okay, I need to think about what is one of the core things, the key things I need to master or I need to learn, then the sales and the marketing will be easy. Do, do, you, know the, do you know the ones that I found out in sales and marketing? Uh, what? Well, I'm sure you know as well, if net, forget about a Facebook ad, just forget about a Google ads, yes. SEO, forget about it. You can you can get the best expert, you know, to help you with Facebook ad, this one. But if if your if your prospect vendor they don't trust you, it doesn't matter how good how good your ad is. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good it doesn't matter how good your ad is. Do you think they are going to you know they are going to hire you as an agent? No. No, yeah, that's why. That's so many people. That's so many digital marketers. I think they focus on one thing. They focus on like how to make sure the ads, you know, looks the picture looks, you know, every attention catching looks, right is the best, you know, copy best headline. Yeah, for sure, you know, they will need it. But one of the fundamental is you have to get right. The aging must have the, you know, the aging must have the really good offer. If the aging doesn't deliver value, and uh, if the aging cannot get a trust from the vendor. It doesn't matter how good the ad is, it doesn't matter how good, it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how good it's one. You know, the agent just cannot get listing. I'm just, you know, tell, 
I guess, uh, you know, speak straight. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter how good you are. You can't have the best website. You can't have the best funnel. But if the if the people go into a funnel and go, they say, you know, this guy, you know, this is this this is aging. You know, I'm, I don't trust aging. You know, do you think do you think you are gonna get this? <sighs> No. You are not, yeah. So, so one, see, the best way for you to build a trust, and then you know, the best way for you to build a trust is taking them go so a journey. What I mean is that taking them go so your life journey, like the story you've got. So this is who you are. This is where they want it to be. You take them go so a journey. What I mean journey is that just like you are taking them in your story. You already take your prospect vendor go so actually how did you help Gary and make the decision project and manage his property and sell his property for the full market value. So once you help them take them go so actually and then they understand so you the people who are time poor and who are struggle who can you know hear a story and go so actually do you think they are going to believe you will be the agent who can help them. Do the same things. Yeah. Yeah. So, because you are done, you are already done for Gary. You are, you show in your story. You know, you you take it and go through that process. How did you come out with warfare? Oh. So basically, they can say, you know, you've done that. I mean, you you can help them do that. So basically, they're gonna trust you. Yeah. Yeah. So that is how they stru they structure the question. You please. I mean, you don't feel you feel. You don't feel related to you, but the structure of the story, it is related to everyone. You can use it to sell anything, by the way, not just, not just a property. And, uh, you know, there are so many marketers, they use it to sell, uh, they use it to sell what kind of weird stuff. So there's a, you know, there's a lady who uses it to sell soap, soap, just soap on Amazon, basically e-commerce. There are some other people to use, of course, Russell use to sell software. Uh, Tony Robbins used to sell people to get your work on fire. And uh, Hollywood movie used to sell movie. The reason why this one can be used to sell anything is because the structure, the psychology behind the story works. Okay. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so um, I, the reason why I spend the time is because I, I just, uh, I mean, I just uh, explained to you why this works and how, why this, will work for you I and mean, it will work for anybody because uh, you can definitely use or sell anything but in your case your goal is to sell the warfare to your prospect vendor so once you sell to them you hope they sold the warfare and then they will you know they will you know basically they when they think about selling a property you okay what kind of people you gonna hire you by the way just from your story i can see you are going to help the you are going I think you in your story you are going to attract the people who are time poor, and who are looking for someone to help them project and manage the like renovation like a property. These are the people you want to target. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you are targeting the right audience, and you have the right story to get them to believe you have the best offer. This is how you can differentiate yourself from other aging. Other agent, they don't have a story. They don't have this one. So they may just have a sales pitch. So if you, you know, if you, if there are, if you go into the listing presentation and with another LG who can rewire agent, who has more competitive advantage? I mean, if you can tell me who has more. Oh, normally, LJ Hooker. Yeah, normally you have more because you, you, your warfare, you, let's say, other agents, they don't have project management as, as a service in the warfare, but you do have. Yep. And you have a story to say how you come out of warfare. Definitely, you got a more competitive advantage. Yeah. I mean, this, this is how, this is how, why this is work. It's not something to make up, but we haven't finished yet. I mean, um, if you can, uh, we just finish the first story. You still got the, uh, do you want to take a bit of break? Or do you, do you want to keep going with the rest of this uh, presentation? Uh, uh, I've got, I only got a half an hour left, that's it, so. Okay, sure, let's, let's just keep doing as much as you can. Go back to your script. Mm -hmm. If you can just, I stop sharing and you can you can share your screen and go to the, go to our webinar things. The what? The webinar, the, the, uh, that's the 
found a script. Here. Yeah, you can share a screen with me. Just share the screen. Okay, you don't have to do this script. Uh, this has already been done. What you can do is go back to the perfect webinar visor. Go to the go back to the visor. Uh, you have to go to the project, save the project. Now go back to the project. Now scroll down, scroll up, up, up. There is something called a save the project on the top. Yeah, next to a dashboard called a save the project on the top. Save the project, yeah, that's the one. And scroll down. And down, yeah. So, no, that's another one. And uh, so scroll down. A passenger, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a one. Yeah, note. Yeah, open, you can open and note. Okay. So basically a uh, backstory desire. And so now it's very easy for you to do it right now. So now, uh, no, I think this is, uh, this is the wrong one. If you scroll down. This is my first one, I think. No, this is a passenger bridge story. So if you scroll up, save the project, I'm sure you got the, the, the visor, scroll down. That's funny, no? no, that's not the one. That's a bridge. That's a peasant bridge one. Uh, no, that's a pair of bridge one. So go to the next. Next one. No, no, you can. You still have more. Go to next one. Next. Next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scroll up. How oh, sorry. Yeah, that's a one. That's a one. Note. This is a perfect webinar one. So, okay, you, we up to question. Uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. Okay, a person in Bristol, you basically just copy the story and put it here, but you may just leave a note here. No, you just leave a note. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, pretty much that's all. And uh, then you just go scroll. Then answer the question, how your story apply to them? So basically your, your target audience is a uh, time poor home center who want to get, who want, to, who want to someone to project management and, you know, renovation. So if you are time poor, then, you know, I can help you. That's basically you. Uh, yeah, if you're time poor, then we can help you project management and uh, renovate your property. And uh, yeah. So this can differentiate yourself from other aging. Okay. Okay, so proof basically is a, basically is a testimony. Do you have any testimonial? What do you have any, like a property? You do you have a picture of the property? Have you got a picture of the property? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. So basically just write a note and like a picture of the property because you, you want to show them a proof. So you may need to put some picture to say, okay, this is a renovation you project manage. Then that's basically what it is. So what is the number one payoff your audience wanted to add? So big payoff, they want to know how to, well, in this case, I think you got more clarity about your target audience. So I think your target audience that come to listen to your webinar is a time poor uh, home center who want to project manager. So you have to say, uh, they really want to know how to, uh, I guess, how to sell the property for the full market value without, you know, without, uh, without involving the process. If that's something, you know, because uh, that's what they're looking for. The people come to you, it is a time poor home center. They don't want it to involve too much process. They want you project manage for them. Okay, big payoff number two is, uh, uh, you know, they really wanted to know how to, uh, I guess how to make sure the property looks more desirable and without, you know, without, I guess without going through the, 
struggle to find the trade people because you mentioned about you got to trade people. Okay. Who is the enemy in this area? So the enemy basically, what is the reason why the people who, uh, you know, the people who uh, that stop them from working with you? Let's say if the people are time poor, they want someone, you know, they're time poor, they want to sell the property. What is the reason why they, they are not working with you? They're not. Yeah. I don't know. They don't know me. <laughs> okay, so the the biggest enemy could be, you know, in this case, I think it could be, you know, uh, who is the enemy in this area? Okay. Uh, I guess in this case, in this case, the biggest enemy would be other aging. I have to say because other aging who. You know, maybe they don't know you, they know other agents, that's why they hire other agents, but other agents who cannot help them with the project management, but you can. So other agents, they are the enemy. Okay, so that's all, well, that's good. And uh, uh, number one pain, what is the number one pain and the problem they wanna avoid in the area? So number one pain, uh, number one pain would be they really want to avoid for them. I think uh, in, in that case, they don't have time. They really want to avoid spending too much time on in the selling process. Avoid quite spending too much time yeah, to project management the, the property. Okay, number one, two pain could be, okay, they wanna avoid, you know, I think hire the, you know, finding the trader people because they, they have to find the trader people as well. I think people don't wanna go through the process to find the professional trader people, but you already have a, you know, trader people, so you can help them. Okay, big how to, I think is how to, let's say how to, uh, how to sell the property for the full market value without, uh, you know, without spending too much time on renovating the property or project managing the property. I think that's a big how to they want. Okay, vehicle basically number one is uh, basically the secret number one, it is a, uh, just, it is your woofer. Um, as a vehicle, it is uh, your woofer. That's what I mean. So what is the first secret? So the first secret you want, we can share with them basically is how to, yeah, you can just say how to sell the property for the full market value without uh, spending too much time on project management or managing renovating it because you are going to show them how you come on a warfare and help them do that that's all how to sell the home for the full market value and without you need to write down without uh, 
spending too much time to project managing because that's why people come here come here for the so the one in those is that's basically the title of your one of your presentation slide okay i don't understand how this uh, will help me sell the property for the full market value And without, I think without, without involving the process, because they believe, I guess they believe they have to involve the process. So that's why, you know, they are not selling without being involved in the process. The truth is, we have a team to help you project managing. You can tell them. No, 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 this one is different. This one, the, the, the vehicle, that's a story, but the truth is uh, you can just tell them, you know, the, the, the solution you've got, you know, you have, a, you just briefly tell them, you know, I got a, you know, I have the professional trader people who have the team to help you, you know, help you, basically help you manage the whole process, like a renovate your property, get it to market and sell. Okay, this one is to copy the story and put it here. So basically, you just have to tell them the story. How did you come up with the story? And I copy and paste here. So what is that person a bridge story and a point you can cover in the first secret? So yeah, paste that bridge. And so number one is what a proof. So basically, you just have to have the yeah, have the photo of the property or have the maybe have the testimonial. That's that's one. So what are their limiting beliefs? So, okay, what are their limiting beliefs do we, do we need to address? So do they have other things stop? So, okay, they believe, in this case, you know, they believe uh, you have the best offer and for, to help them sell the property without involving in the process. But do they have other limiting beliefs? Like they, they may have, uh, I'm not sure, because you deal with, uh, you know, your homeowner, you know? Yeah, it costs too much. That could be one, yeah. Well, Take too long, yeah. So you have to you you have to handle the objection. You have to handle all of them. Otherwise, they're not gonna sell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so internal belief stick number two. Okay, this one is, uh, uh, okay, this one I have to explain via time. So in, in the perfect world, the perfect world is uh, you are just tell them the, your offer, you help them project manage and you help them uh, renovate and sell the full market. And in a perfect world, they're just gonna say, yes, I'm gonna hire you. I'm gonna miss a property in a perfect world. Uh, you are gonna meet maybe 90, maybe, three to five percent of people let's say you talk to 100 people maybe three to five people they just say okay yes i'm ready to go but unfortunately some other people they have some other objection and one of the objection is something called an internal belief internal belief is uh, i guess in this case just in your case i just have to tell you and a lot of people they will have to believe uh yeah, sure, your offer works, you know, you can help them project a manager, you can help them do it. But they but if they want to sell, you know, they may believe, you know, they uh they don't have money for vendor paid advertising. Or could it be 
I'm not sure, but I just give you some idea. I mean, they could be believed, you know, they don't, uh, or something that is stopped and that is inside their head, you know, stop them. So maybe they, uh, you know, they don't, they don't have money for, for, you know, for the vendor paid advertising could be one. Uh, tell me what, what else, what are some internal belief what you think of the people have when you deal with them? You don't have time for this. Uh, is that is something you know? Is something you know? Internal beings they don't have time. I will get is a. Okay, you know, you have to, you know, in the secret number two, internal beneath that one, how will you bring, how will you, I'm not. So if you scroll down, you have to finish that one. Yeah. No, 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 if you scroll up, 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 this one, no, up, up for the interview is, okay, I, we don't have time for this. So I'm not, I'm not. So you have to say, I'm not, I'm not having time for this. If, if time is a big issue, I'm not having time for this. I'm not having time. So how will you break down? This doesn't matter because this does, that does not matter because we will help you manage the whole process. Or you can say, if you look at the, 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 there is a sentence behind, they just fill the blank. That does not matter because we will help you manage the whole process. Yeah, for, for a lot of people, yeah, they don't have time because the selling how is a big process. And uh, they want someone to manage. So then you have to tell them a story. How do you have a story like how you or case study you got? You help a. Uh, it doesn't have to be Gary, but it can be something else. You help a vendor manage the whole process, so the vendor you know don't spend much time. Do you have a case study for that? Yeah. Okay. Good. Then do you have a proof, based on testimonial and uh, you know case study photos? Put it here. So basically, is go back to the a person in bridge script and they just go through the process again, uh, but with a different story to help them break down that beneath. And what other limiting beneath do I have to address internal beneath? Do they have? A, I think another one I just have let you know could it be money. Maybe they don't. They believe they don't have a vendor paid advertising. Maybe a vendor paid advertising is too expensive. Or maybe maybe they. Maybe they believe, you know, they can sell the property to the buyer themselves, like a sale by owner. Yeah, you can save it right now. You can just, um, I think you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to save, you don't have to save uh, as because you already saved it. Just click, click the save button. It will save to your original one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, saved. So, uh, so basically, if you go to if you if you go through the process, mm -hmm. basically you just go so you know uh, number two you know internal belief, they may believe they don't have time or they don't have uh, maybe vendor paid advertising expense. So you just have to handle the objection. Then if you go to secret number three, it's something called external belief. External belief, maybe the market is not right. So like COVID-19 or pandemic, or you just have to handle them. You just have to tell them, okay, uh, you, just, you have to use a story, by the way. Here is the most important thing is not because tell them, still, okay, market is right. They're not gonna believe that. The best way to do it is to use a story, use a story to do it, yeah, COVID-19. Then if you scroll down, if you scroll down, I say secret number three, I can read. I don't know how to, I guess I don't know how to, maybe people say, okay, I don't know how to uh, make sure if this is the right timing to sell or if this is the right market to sell. 
let's say people external, external be needful, basically it is external condition they cannot control. Like time, they can control it, you know, they can, everyone has time. If they make a decision, you know, to sell property, they definitely can, you know, work time. But, it, but the external belief, it is a, it is external factor they cannot control, like a COVID-19, like a pandemic, like the market condition, they just cannot control. But that's, that's something they believe. Yeah, so there's no problem there because that is no problem there. I think here you can tell then, I just, I just, because for me, I know real estate industry pretty much everywhere. So, I mean, just have chosen this. It doesn't matter which market is going to sell because once they sell the property, they have to buy a new one. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say if you sell property, let's say in a good market, you sell property for more money for sure. Like sell for 10 grand, 20 grand more. But when you go to a, when you buy a new property, the market is a good market. So do you have to pay more money for it? Yeah. Yeah. So if you sell on, on a bad market, like no, like a downturn market, that's called a downturn market. I know in Australia, we have like clock, but if you sell like a downturn market, you're going to buy as a cheaper price as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so it doesn't matter when they're going to sell, you know, they are not going to get a really good deal. A lot of people just believe this, but I, in my experience, I mean, you can sell as a good, uh, like an up market, upturn market or downturn market. It doesn't matter what, when you're going to sell it, because you're going to sell, you're going to buy a new one. So you mean for investment property, investment property is like a property clock. You're going to, you're going to buy in the up, up, upturn market, but it, the market was changing. Market was not going to always going to go up. It's going to go down as well. If you want to keep the property for, like five or 10 years. So you, it doesn't matter when you're gonna buy investment property, you always going to have your face. So market condition actually is an illusion. But okay, you have to tell them a story. What is that personally bridge story you can cover it? Do you have a story or case study? You help someone sell the property and the person believe they have to sell like as a good market then they find out, okay, actually they don't get a good deal. You know, doesn't matter when they're gonna sell. Do you have a case study or story like that? Uh, Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you got a story, if you got a case study, just put it here. No, it doesn't have to be your client, by the way. It can be other agents' client, or can be someone you know. It doesn't have to be your client. It doesn't have to be. Do you have any story or any, any, any case study you know? No. Uh, Do you have any? Or Tina, it doesn't have to be your one. I just let you know. It can be, even it can be, it can be aging, or you can be a property investor, or it can be any one you know. The, the goal is to break down the limiting belief. They believe they want to sell in the best market, like a best market condition. Then you have to, you just have to use a story to break down the belief. To say, okay, there's no best time to sell. The best time to sell is right now. Or well, this is the best, no best time to purchase. The best time to purchase is right now. Yeah, but you have to use a script, go back to a structure, make sure that your story has a script then to do it. So what a proof, a case study, you just have to, you know, get a testimonial. Or if you cannot get a testimonial, get some photo or get some of the, or you can, you can go to research uh, on realsite.com.au, get some of the statistics that will work as well. I think the best way you can get some statistic. Do you have some? Do you think you can get some statistic of like the how Australia property real estate perform in the past thirty years? I guess you can get you can, you can easily get it from real estate from like you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get some. Just put here like statistics. You know, you can show them. Yeah, like growth rate. So people can see it. You know, property is going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, so. Okay, let's go down and uh, okay, what other limiting belief? So let's say other external, what other external factor? Market condition is one. Another one could be maybe the people just having to find the right agent. That could be another one. Or maybe, uh, yeah, 
I think you just have to brainstorming a lot of the natural belief, as many as we can. I, I so far, I cannot think of any. I only can think of market condition. Another one can be, uh, you already handle object of a time, and price, market condition. Another one could be, yeah, maybe they have to wait for the kids to finish actually saying, that could be another one. So if you can put it here, wait for the kids to finish actually saying, that's, that's another one, or finish the school. Because a lot of people believe in, a lot of people believe, you know, they have to wait for the kids to finish HSC, finish school. Then, yeah, so another one could be, they have to wait for, for like for people want to retire, they have to wait for like age 65 or like wait for retirement age. This war of the belief, you just have to handle objection. If you can handle well, no objection, they definitely gonna sell. But you just have to, so name of the warfer, what I'm saying, you just have to, so this is the name of your warfer. Like you mentioned about bread, home center, I guess, solution something. Okay. Just um, put your name of your warfer here. So what are you saying? I'm saying, so this one you mentioned about be a detail, actually you are sending a, uh, you could be, you are sending a package, service package of help them manage, you know, project manage and uh, yeah, and plus traditional real estate services. Okay, deliver number one, they just have to break down what is inside your offer. So what is the name of the big training? I think the biggest one would be uh, in your case, and people want to sell the property, uh, number one would be project managing. So you help them project renovation, that's a number one in your offer. So if you if you picture in your mind, that is this, that is your product number one. Then what is the inside? So basically break down the, the product number one. What is inside the product number one? Like a project manager renovation, what, what, what does that mean? So what, what, I, what are you gonna do? What are the tasks you are gonna do? Yeah. So if you can write down what are the tasks you're gonna do? Yeah. Now just go into the deliver number one. What are the tasks you're gonna do? So if you put it down the task, you can help them. You when you help them project manage renovation, what are you gonna do for them? That's basically what is what is the question is about. Like are you help are you gonna help them? Uh, I'm sure help them find the builder, help them find the painter, help them find the uh, also help them you know help them uh, work out the budget, help them. I think it's just a job description of the project manager. And that's what are gonna help them. Oh my God. Uh, no, you just focus on one. You don't have to finish today. This time you got time, you can you you you're gonna do it. But you just finish as much as you can today. I know, punch. We are not gonna finish the whole presentation, but I, we can we punch. We're gonna finish maybe 60, 70 percent. That's okay. So work out what need to be done. You just I think you have to be more specific. You know what kind of the job description are the project manager like? What are you gonna do for them? If you can write down as a bunny points, bunny points, people can say it as well. You know, as a, if you help them project manage, what are you gonna do for them? Yeah, so that's why that's a, that's good. You know, work out uh, 
you know, budget as one. Anything else you are doing as a project manager? Anything else? I think as much as you can. Well, if you don't have any, you can just go to the next question. What is the proof and a case study? Just, you know, put down the case study and the proof. Just some of the project you managed in the past, you just put some case study and prove here. So people can say, you know, this can help you build a trust. So any case study, any 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 testimonial you can get. Okay, that's one. So list of the type of the people who is work for. So who are the people gonna work for? So based on this will be a target audience. You mentioned about a self-employed, you mentioned about a yeah, professional because they are time poor. Just mention about a world of the people here. Like professional, uh, doctor, lawyer, tax accountant, you know, they are busy, they're crazy, man. I, probably I'm busy, so I'm professional, by the way. If I if I if I want to sell a property, I definitely gonna hire an agent, you know, can help me project manager for sure. Yeah. Okay, so uh, finish uh, that one. If you go to that Denebro, that's a, that is your product number one in your offer, basically not what it is. Okay, so uh, next one, what is the number one excuse people don't get started? So what is the number one excuse and people don't want to hire a project manager? Maybe they believe they cost a lot of money. Is, is something they believe they're gonna cost a lot of money. So you have to handle it. You may help them for free because it is it is one part of your service. So okay. how much is the B class? So you, you have to say, okay, by the way, let me ask a question. How much are project manager charge in Australia? Do you know it? No. I'll give you a price. I mean, I can give you the price. You can just use that price as a guy, project manager, salary. Not salary, let's say, let me just, I'm just charging. I'm just give you a salary. So in, in Australia, okay. How long does it take for you to manage that project? By the way, how long? I don't know. Depends what needs to be done. But so, how about how about an average? I'm told average. How long does does it take? Three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. I I, I just look at the Google search of a project manager. So, average standard rate of a project managing Australia. I'm, I'm not sure Adelaide. Maybe Adelaide is cheaper, but in Sydney. I think this is average, national average as well. So it's a one, one, $124,000, 390. So basically it's about 125 grand. So 100 per year. So if you look at three weeks and roughly divided by, that's a 125 divided by 52. Uh, how much would that be? I'm just roughly give you an idea. 12500 divided by 52, so uh, one week, salary would be $24,000 a week. So like three weeks. Uh, that was 2,400. Uh, 2,400, so 2,400. So 2,400, that's uh, three weeks. If you're 2,400 times three, times three, would it be, you know, 
thousand dollars, seventy two thousand dollars for three weeks. So if you just put it, put it on like seventy two thousand dollars there, that will be the value of the services. You know, seventy two thousand dollars for three weeks. Yeah, per week. Yeah, just put it down there. Okay, so. Um, then uh, what tool do they get to make things easy? So when, when okay, when you project manage then, okay, what do you need to show them? Do you, do you need to, do you, do you have Excel sheet? Do you have uh, like, a, I'm sure every project manager they do have a project management tool. Do you have a, uh, do you have a checklist or do you have something Then you can, you can show them, well, I'm going to help you. So they can have a look at it. Do you have anything like Excel, a checklist or something yet? Yeah. Basically, just you, you, they don't have to do it, but they do need to know what you are doing for them. Yeah, that's basically what what is what is the tool even about. Okay, scroll down. If you scroll down, deliver number two. So this is your product number two. So deliver number two would be, uh, yeah, tool. Oh, deliver number two. Okay, wait. I mean, I'm just the. Uh, Deliverable number two. So scroll up, you scroll up a bit. Deliver number one, project manager, deliver number two. Okay, sorry, I made a big mistake. So deliverable number two, uh, yeah, it is a tool. It is a tool. Check in this. Do you have any other tool? No. Uh, okay. Doesn't have to be project manager. How about is that? Do you have any other check in this to help them? Uh, when they sell their property, do you have any other staff to help them sell the property? It doesn't have to be project managing. It, it can be, you know, anything, any tool, any Excel, any, you know, checklist. No, no, not really. I, I don't know. Well, actually, I actually I give you one. One of them you call home center checklist. You can just write down there home center checklist because in my ebook, I, you know, I got one for you. You can just use that one. So, so basically, the home center needs to know what need to prepare before sell the property. That's all. And so, what a problem did the tool solve for you? I did, I didn't know how to. I guess how to prepare my home for sale. So yeah, they don't know how to prepare. So you have got a home center checklist, and uh, that is uh, that will help them prepare their home for sale. And how much time and uh, you know money will the tool save then? So I guess I know this is a bit of like a like a you know it's not going to be exactly right, but you can see maybe it's going to save them uh, because if the people don't know what to prepare, they may make a lot of mistakes. Maybe you can say save them like a, just put it down like save them about like four or five weeks. Yeah, if the people don't know don't know how to prepare, they may you know they may they may make mistakes. What I mean is uh, they may. Uh, you know, oh, here this will you have to answer the question. This will help you save a ton of money because yeah, because we have uh, trade people. Okay, okay. So now, now, now. deliver okay. number two is a tool. What is the number? Accuse people don't get started with the tool. How do you answer that? So. They could be, you know, they could they could say, okay, I don't understand. Uh, even if they got the checklist, but they don't still don't know. I guess they still need some guidance. So maybe you know, number accused, you know, we need more guidance to, you know, prepare our home for sale. That could be one. So maybe they lack of guidance, you know, because even if you give them a checklist, most of people I know, I mean. They, they may sell the property like once or twice for the lifetime. So most of the people have no clue about a sale of property. I mean, even the basics, like a more than known, like a clean the garden, most of the, that's why most of the property looks agony before put on market. Okay, I have to go. 
Okay, last one, finish deliver number two, then you can just uh, go. And yeah. how much are the two words? So you can see how much section is, then save the time. You just put it like two or 300 bucks there. And that's, that's, that's basically the value of this. Okay, so now you can save the project. And uh, then you can, then we got time. I think you know what to do right now. Basically mm -hmm. save, just press the button save, save the save. Yeah, okay. So, and uh, I mean, you don't have to log out. You can just go back when you finish appointment, you can go back and keep working on your presentation. I think that pretty much now you maybe need another one or two hours to polish your presentation. Then you can, you can just, you know, build and uh, then it will come out with a PBT. And then you just add a picture and an image. So your webinar presentation will be done. Okay. But, but let me ask a question before you leave. Do you find that this, this will help you convert the people into the listing? What do you think? Mm, yeah, I guess, yep. Yeah, yeah, because now, I mean, you, because one of the biggest challenge you told me all the time, you say you got 150 people in your database, but you cannot convert into. The reason why you cannot convert is you don't have the sales presentation to convert them. This is basically your sales presentation. Uh, you don't have to run in webinar, but you can do one on one for sure. You can just, you know, have a PPT presentation and go to one on one meeting okay. and spend one hour with a vendor and get it. Then, as long as you have a wolf objection handle correctly, yeah. like a, if the people are looking for someone project managing, you have the best offer. If the people are time poor, you say, okay, I help you solve the time pool, you know, objecting. If the people worry about the market condition, you handle objection. If the people worry about the money, then you, if you handle all of the objection, I, I mean, there's no way they won't sell with you. Because if you do everything right in, for the presentation, it means guarantee you're going to get the listing. But, it, but as a go, is you just have to follow the process. And, the, you know, I think I tick each box. Answer every single question correctly. That's basically what it is. Yeah. This is this is basically this is this is just the work. You know, just uh, I I have to say this is a formula. You can use it to sell anything. You can you can use it to get a buyer. You can use it to get a seller. But you just have to keep working on it. So uh, maybe we can book a next time because uh, once you finish, I can help you review it. When will be, when are you going to be free next time? I can help you review it when you finish. Next week, how about next week? When? Yeah, maybe Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday? Yeah. Let's see, check my calendar. Let's see, I... So when, when will you be like valuable next week? Afternoon. Sorry? In the afternoon. Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, like uh, two o'clock? How do we do two o'clock? Yeah, that should be out. Yep. Okay, let's say two to, we well, needed another two hours. Not two to five, if you put your time in like two to five. Okay. And uh, yeah, two to five. And but but between this, uh, between now and Wednesday, you you I think you answer as much question as you can. Then next one, we just I just uh, work, look at your presentation and make sure, you know, you have everything. You I guess you have you have your story done. You have everything correct and uh, pretty much. So two to five on Wednesday, I send you a calendar invite as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So talk to you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Tom.